everybody it's your beauty 87 here and today i figured we try some different lighting so this is actually just natural lighting i don't have any like lights on in my house i actually think it looks better than what i normally have on lights let me know what you guys think down below but we're gonna do a battle of the today so i got some blushes i didn't put this picture up yet but this ain't gonna be coming next week so it doesn't matter so y'all know the patrick dot blushes i absolutely love these these are wonderful but they expensive as hell i, I think they're like 28 dollars. some ridiculous ass price patrick thinks we should pay and i have no problem paying with them because they're very beautiful they look very nice on the skin i don't feel like i have to build them up a lot to get a good color pigmentation but they're easy to blend away if i get too crazy and you know decide to put on way too much blush so i have two colors i have she's seductive and she's adorable so this is my all-time favorite when she's seductive i like she's adorable when i do more like you know like warm tone looks and I like she's seductive when i do my cool tone looks and obviously we know i'm a cool tone girl so i'm gonna have more cool tones and i'm warm tones but yeah she's seductive is this one right here i'm sorry this, she's adorable is this one right here and um i was watching julia i forget her i always forget her last name it's julia it starts with an m she's like a japanese and um i think like caucasian beauty influence or whatever but she was talking about how she found dupes that nobody else had found and then she was like she found dupes for the patrick doll and i was like wait what ma'am ma ma ma'am excuse me ma'am and I was just like too thirsty and excited. So I'm like, but what is this dupe that this woman talking about she found for the patch of top blushes? Because I need, I need it now, ma'am. It's my, you know, it's mine and I need it now. Y'all know you've seen that Lori commercial. Anyway, so she said it was these um, satin touch blushes by, e by Essence. And I was like, oh, okay. Huh. But I had had these at my grandmother's house like forever ago. And so I didn't even know like to compare them because they weren't here. But I have two colors that are very similar to the same colors that I showed you. Now, obviously, the um, peachy one isn't exact, but this is the one satin coral. This is the one I would compare to the um, She's Adorable one. But, of course, y'all know I have to use the one for She's Seductive because She's Seductive is my favorite color. So, I have this one called Satin Love. And my top broke off literally while I was in the bathroom just now. But it's fine. It was $3. Who cares? Um, but this is the color Satin Love number 20. They still sell this on Essence's website. I don't remember if they still sell this blush on Ulta or not. But I'm going to swatch them right now so we can see the difference between them. And then I'm going... And then I got an Essence highlighter dupe for um, the Huda Beauty palette too. So I'm like, Essence is over here duping everybody. They didn't turn into the foreign... They didn't try to turn into... Um, what is it? Makeup Revolution or something. Okay, now the colors aren't exact. Like, as you can see, the um, this is the Satin Love color and this is She's Adorable. This is She's Seductive. So, obviously, it's darker, which is why I like patches a little bit more. But, like, I'm swatching it down just as far as for, you know. And they do feel quite similar, actually. So, that's the colors. This is She, uh, this is um, Satin Love and that's She's uh, Seductive. So, I'm going to go ahead and put both on the cheeks. Now, I tried to get brushes that were similar. I don't have brushes that are exact. I like to use this um, Japanese brush. It looks like the... I forgot what the name of this brush was from by NARS when it was really popular a while ago. I bought the Japanese version of it right before they started selling it all to as sad as that is. So I think you can find it at TJ Maxx though if you're interested. But I like to use this one with my Patrick Top blushes because I feel like it picks up a lot of product. And I don't have to keep dipping back in like a lot of people said they had to because they said it doesn't really give you that pigmentation. If you use this brush, it'll give you the pigmentation to where you don't have to constantly pick it up again and again and again. But I'm going to use this Jaclyn Hill brush because I did buy her Morphe brush set, the face brushes. I don't mess with Morphe eye brushes. I have not had nothing but bad experiences with them. And I only tried them once and once was enough for me. So this is the Jaclyn Hill JH06 brush. So I'm going to use this with the Satin Love brush because I feel like they give pretty much the same consistency. I usually use this with bronzer, but she said it's an everything brush. So you're supposed to be able to use it for whatever you feel like. So I decided I'm going to use it for blush. So, And then we'll get into the highlighter portion like right after I get done with this because I do blush and then I do highlighter last. So I feel like it's only fair. Now the Essence dupe, I actually just sent a swatch to Nikki Beauty because she was wanted to see what it looked like on darker skin tones to see if it was worth her picking it up. So I did that. Um, you should go check out her channel if you do not. I believe the name of her channel is Nikki Beauty, just like her Instagram because I follow her on Instagram too. But um, yeah, go check her out. She, um, she just did a uh, last review she did was on the um NKY Born to Glow concealer. Yeah, but go check that out. Anyway, we're going to get into this blush finally. Um, So like I said, this is She's Seductive. I'm going to put it on this side. And then I'll put the She's Love, Satin Love on this side. So I keep trying to make everything She. Oh, has anybody watched the Patrick Ta and Gigi Hadid video? I'm like obsessed. I mean, not Gigi Hadid. Um, uh, Kirsten Dominique video. He used a latte palette on her. And I was just so excited and obsessed. I was like, yes! I was so excited. And I already did my two looks with it. So I'm going to. Try to upload another look with it on Instagram today. I don't know. Today is Sunday, by the way, February the 2nd. 
And I'm just lightly building up this blush because I'm like, I don't need a whole bunch of blush, but I still want like a little bit of blush. Even though I am a blush whore and I like to put on lots of blush. So don't be surprised if I'm sitting here for like a good five minutes just rubbing on blush. Don't judge me. I want it to be seen because if it's not the prime infusions, I feel like it doesn't last all day. So I feel like I have to put on a lot and then it could just wear off through the day and that's fine with me. As long as it's not like a bright color that makes you look like a clown. And since this is more like a skin tone color, if I do put on a lot, I feel like it doesn't matter. So one more swoosh. Okay, that's enough for me. So I don't know if y'all can see it because it's close to my skin tone. But I feel like you can see a little bit mauviness going on right here. So that's the um, She Seductive blush. Now we're going to go into the Satin Love blush. Sorry. Just back up here. Sorry. Okay, sorry. I'm good. I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> so this is Satin Love. I'm going to go ahead and take this brush. And it picked up just as much product as that one does. And I'm going to take the She Seductive one. Because, of course, since it's $3, obviously it doesn't have a mirror. But, you know, since it's $3, if it works the same, I don't care. Um, Go ahead and put satin love on so i will link julia's video down below of her talking about how she found all these dupes that you know aren't dupes that people normally find and then i will um i feel like this one has more of a satiny glow to it if you will though like see you can see the glow going on with this blush whereas with the patrick one it's more matte so that is the difference between these just in case you're curious it's more satiny or shimmery like if you will but yeah, so I feel like they look pretty much the same on the cheeks, though. Like, this one is a little bit um, deeper in tone, which is, again, my preference. But I don't have a problem with this one at all, either. But I'm going to do a wear test so we can see, like, how long um, these wear and if they give us the same pigmentation throughout the day and which one looks best at the end of the night. So I have on the Nabla Close Up Foundation. I did a review on it. I actually want to um, upload the video comparing it to the um, Clinique, um, I think it's called Even Better Skin, because I feel like they're really similar. So I have a review on that. So I'll put these up at the same time I put that up. Um, anyway, now let's get on to the highlighter review. So I have these two highlighter palettes. I have the the bronze sands palette and then i have this highlighter palette from essence which is called the sunlighter reload i just did swatches of this like i said and um i feel like it's actually probably going to be closer to the gold one but i don't own the gold one so i'm just testing it based upon formula obviously but i feel like this color and one of the golds goes good enough with this palette to where like see these two bottom shades i feel like blended on you might not be able to tell the difference with these two down here versus these two even though these look darker but you know like i said this is the palette i have so we're gonna roll with i want to go about a gold one just to do this review with because at the end of the day we're doing it for formula not necessarily for you know um the color because i know everybody watching me isn't the same color as i am so i figured it'd be helpful to someone and it's only 10 bucks and i think hooders are like 35 or 45 so i mean if you can say that 30 bucks sis definitely take advantage of it so anyway um like i said the two shades we're going to use are these two at the bottom and these two at the bottom so what i'm going to do is like um let's see i highlight one eyebrow with um one of the shades and then i highlight the actual face with a different shade yeah we'll do it that way okay so i'm gonna start with the hooded one um with the hooded one i'm going to put this one Sorry, I'll hold it where you can see it. I'm taking the reddish one. It's called Bora Bora. And this is weird because the um, dupe one is the one that actually has the mirror in it. And Huda's does not. But hers tells you how to apply it. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit the eyebrows real quick. Because if y'all know, I like to like highlight my, put my highlight in my eyebrows and then put it around my face. But I can't do it that way this time because I have to do the eyebrow for um, the video. And then I'll highlight the um face for the other part but i'm like i didn't want to um try to do half of the nose and all that type of stuff that people try to do so i'm like yeah no we're not doing that so i'm just put it on the brow um okay that's a little bit more because i feel like i blended it all the way because i was too busy talking um okay there we go it's back oh y'all i should have put a comb to my eyebrows or something because this one looks like it's struggling And I'm not one who really cares about eyebrows. Like, as long as they brush down and I don't have a whole bunch of loose, random, crazy eyebrow hairs, I'm fine. But I know some girls be like, how do you do that? One girl commented on my video was like, you don't ever do anything with your eyebrows? I'm like, no. Like, if I happen to remember to get them threaded while I'm at the beauty shop, I do. But I don't just do anything to my eyebrows. I just don't care. I'm sorry. Now I'm going to take the color um, 
Aruba, this one right here, and I'm just turning the brush. Obviously, this is the dirty side, so we're going to turn it to the clean side and put that on the part of my face that I'm highlighting. Or should I try Maldives instead? Now, I'm, I think I'm going to go in with Maldives instead. Yeah, we're going to do that. So, Maldives is this goldish color on top. So, I'm going to do that color instead. So, let's. Mm, okay. I haven't used the palette in so long, so I'm like over here reminding myself, like, oh, okay, so it's looking to glow. But this one, I feel like I only need one because I don't think I'm going to be sitting here highlighting forever to, you know, whatever. Okay. Okay, so this is, this is what we're highlighting with. So well, the hood side is done. Let's get into the um, Essence side. So I have a Morphe Y14. This is when I like, first started my channel, like, and everybody was talking about how great Morphe was. And I felt like the consistency of this brush is similar to the one I just used. So I tried to find brushes in my collection that were similar. And I don't have a lot of brushes that are similar to this new Sigma highlight brush I just got, which is the F03 brush. So, yeah. But like I told y'all, we're going to start off with this color right here. And then I guess I'll move up to this color right here. So I'm going to put this one on the eyebrows on the other side. I feel like this is giving me more of a glow than that one did. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I feel like my um, brow bone was way more highlighted with um, this palette than with the other one. See, y'all see what I'm talking about? Like, you can see the beaming of this one. I feel like I turn and you still don't see as much highlighting as this one. So I feel like this one might actually be better if you're one of those people that like the booming pow in your face highlighter. And then I'm going to go in with um, the shade right here. And highlight the actual face. Ooh, okay. Okay, so I feel like Huda's formula is a little bit smoother, but that might be because this one is giving you more beamingness. Why it feels a little bit chunkier because it is giving off more of a shimmer, if you will. But I mean, if I had to pick. As far as budget-wise, I think I would pick the Essence one. But the reason I like the Hood one a little better is because I like the fact that it has the um, cream highlighter in it. So you can use the cream highlight at the beginning of your routine. And that's what's going to help hers like pop more instead of just using this one at the end. Plus, if you have texture, I don't know how well this one is going to look for you. Because I feel like it's showing texture like all up in here on my face. But I mean, like if you don't mind about a little bit of texture showing, or maybe you could just put a more smoothing primer and concentrate it more in this area so it won't be as textured, then I feel like this one will be fine for you. Um, so as far as the battle, I think they're both equally good. I feel like whichever one you choose is based on from preference of your high maintenance hoe like I am, you'll probably want to buy this one in the Patrick Todd blushes. Even though there's nothing wrong with the Essence blushes, I like them just fine. I like a lot of Essence products I've tried, so... It just depends on your preference. If you don't mind texture, I definitely say save your 30 bucks, sis. Because like I said, this one was... I'm oh, sorry, you have 30... Is it 35? You have 35 bucks because I think this is 45. Don't quote me. But um, I know this is 10 bucks. So it's like you can't beat 10 bucks. Definitely try it out, you guys. Um, and definitely try the Essence Brushes. I will rave about those and talk how about wonderful they are. And I actually think I like them a little bit more than the Patrick Ta Blushes. Depending on like what kind of mood I'm in. Like if I'm in the mood... For like a nice little shimmery blush situation and those are the type of colors i usually reach for like mauves and um peaches and stuff that i would definitely say get the essence one if you're more of a matte blush type of girl then you should probably just go ahead and stick to the patrick Todd one so again it's all about the finish and the preference but they feel pretty much exactly the same essence is just going to give you the little um what is it the little satiny um type feel to it like you put a blush top on top of the blush when you didn't so I hope this was helpful and I hope you all enjoyed this video. Remember, you all are diamonds and I'll see you guys in the next one. I gotta go film the Jackie and Ina um, ABH Valentine video next. Bye, guys. Remember, you all are diamonds.